Hello. Hello! Welcome to Explore Home Repeat. My name's Matt. And I'm Izzy. And today we're at the Silverstone Interactive Museum. All about Formula One, motorcycle racing and everything that goes into putting on the Grand Prix and races at Silverstone Circuit. As always, we're here to find out what it's like, if you should go and if it's worth the ticket price. While you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We do day out videos all across the country and upload once a week. So, you ready to go? Let's go! So as you enter Silverstone Interactive Museum, they give you a paper map to take with you because this place looks to be pretty huge uh, with plenty to see and do. So you come in over here uh, at the starting grid into this area about the circuit in the history. Um, then we've got things like it being an RAF base um, and the kind of bomber training bits and the RAF uh, memorial. Then we've got these areas over here about kind of the local area, village, pub, build a 500cc uh, engine interactive experience and sit in a replica Grand Prix car up here. So that's just the first upper level. We then go on to the other level as he turns over the map for <laughs> us. And there's even more stuff. So we've got the tech lab over here, uh, area about racing eras. So you can see it's sort of 40s, uh, to the present day. There's then a big cinema over here uh, and then the sort of pits uh, area over here um, telling you about how they do pit stops and everything like that on the race day. So we're just waiting for the pre-show at the entrance to the museum and they get you to wait in this big kind of open area and you do have amazing views over the track. So we just came out of that kind of intro uh, video area kind of introducing you to the history of Silverstone, it was all right. It's okay. Yeah, I would have expected like, I don't know, like you're in the race. They kind of did that at the end, but I don't know. I it was a like... bit sort of static yeah. um, and just sort of not a lot happened. It was just kind of going up and down the grid, kind of slowly showing like you cars through around, the decades. Yeah. But I just felt it kind of needed a little bit more. So this is the first area you come into the circuit map. This huge projected map of the circuit on the ground with loads of information about all the different corners and straight. So it's really interesting about why all the corners are called what they are. There are lots of them are named after kind of historical things. So there was Luffield Priory, uh, there was an abbey where, where the abbey curve is. Um, and again, the, loads and loads of stuff here about the kind of history of what this was before it became a race circuit. During the war, RAF Silverstone was here, so it wasn't a racetrack at all. And they got this whole exhibition about it being a RAF bomber training base. And that's why they have a strait called the Wellington Strait, named after Wellington bombers that were obviously here at that time. So here we are coming into the sort of lower floor and this is very much more about the vehicles and the drivers. Wow, that does look a good selection. It is impressive in here. Yeah, I love the floor. Like they made it like a like the racetrack floor and then they've got the, obviously the racetrack painted around the bottom here. And then at the top they uh, have followed that with all the lights. So as soon as you come downstairs, you come into this racing eras section. So they've got all the different racing vehicles, cars from the different eras, from kind of the 1940s up to the modern day. As a kid that grew up in the 80s and 90s, this Williams Renault behind me uh, from the 90s, driven by Nigel Mattel, is just like so iconic. It's amazing to see it in real life. So they've got really modern, like 2019 and a 2021 uh, Aston Martin and a Racing Point. And the scale of them, yeah, just the massive. size. Like on the TV, they look so small. <laughs> ah, so this is my kind of area. We're in the tech lab, learning about all the innovation, technology, and physics that goes behind making kind of F1 cars what they are. Go and see what Izzy's learning about here. Uh, I'm trying to make a motor, 
bike go around a wet track by changing the suspension Programming. and programming. Right. And I don't think I understand any of it. <laughs> So that's our day over here at the Silverstone Interactive Museum. What did you think? Yeah, I think it was good. Um, we're only here a few hours, but I think I've learned stuff like, yep. and I appreciate the history. So I think it's been all right. I think perhaps, particularly on a busy day, the interactive bits would just have such huge queues. I don't think you'd ever get on any of them. I don't think there was as quite as much interactive stuff as I would have hoped. There's certainly quite a lot more reading of just kind of static displays than I thought there'd be. Really good selection of vehicles though and kind of memorabilia from all the famous racers and stuff. The sort of cinema experience at the end? Yeah, it was okay. I can see what they were trying to do, which is showing like historical crashes and, and events. Like history. Yeah. Uh, just the graphics were okay. Yeah, I think uh, considering it's quite a new thing, I did think the computer graphics were a little bit rubbish, I have to admit. The cafe, it was reasonable. Some sandwiches, they were fairly nice. Uh, not much selection in terms of hot food, but maybe that's just sort of a sign of the times at the minute. But overall, a pretty good day. Uh, it was about £20 if you book online or £25 if you uh, buy them on the door. It's quite a lot of money. I think you can spend more than probably two or three hours here, would you agree? Yeah, I think that's, a, that's enough. I mean, if you're really enthusiastic about it and you are yeah. going to read it all. I would say perhaps if you're more of an F1 fan than we are, then you'd probably get more from it, I would say. But it is cool just coming to this whole Silverstone area, seeing bits of the track and everything that's grown up around this area. So all in all, a pretty good day. Nothing amazing for the money, but a still a solid day out, I would say. So that's pretty much it from us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!